When we open a book, we open a new reality. For brief moments of time, it releases us from the constraints of our own reality. They take us beyond our own world and into someone else, real or imaginary one. They satisfy the curiosity of the elusive what if. We travel beyond our capacities, observe different cultures, and live different lives, and this all happens without even moving physically. Fiction or non-fiction, they help us build connections and broaden our capacity to empathize and help us understand others. It shows us the inner workings of multiple perspectives and also let us know that there is more than one way to view the world. So having said that, reading seems fun, isn't it? Well, not really. Sometimes it is fun, but most of the time it's a hard work. An average book length uh, is around 300 to 400 pages. And to go through the whole book, you need time and you need perseverance. Either we don't have time or we fall asleep after 10 minutes. We do want to have those experiences, but we don't want to go through this hard work of reading. In other words, we want to have read, but we don't want to read. To fill this void, there are apps like Audible, where you can listen to the whole book, or Blinklist, where you can listen or read the summaries of the books. But here's the problem, those apps come with a cost, we need to pay them. And I know as students, we don't want to pay for those services. We like free stuff and hacks. Uh-huh, the hacks, but not those hacks. I'm, no, 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 I'm not suggesting you any kind of illegal activities. I'm talking about an app or a website that gives you, exclusively you, the students, the opportunity to read up to 5,000 abstracts, reviews and summaries of books and articles in a year free of cost. I'm talking about getabstract.com. Go to getabstract.com, sign up as a student, upload your ID card picture, and in, in a few minutes you are good to go. And now you have a go-to library of summaries. And the fun part is, the content you get from GetAbstract might help you in writing your essays and seminar papers and even in your preparation for presentations. For those who don't read but want to read, it's a good start for them. And hopefully, some of you might eventually become book readers. Although GetAbstract won't give you the taste or the timeless experience that a book could give you, but it's still useful and valuable. That's it. Thanks for your time.